Hey all, I'm back. Um, a short podcast on chest x-rays and verifying uh, ET tube placement. Hope you all enjoy it. So this is a normal chest x-ray and I'm going to uh, run over the basics again real quick. Remember when you're reading chest x-rays, although in this particular case we're just going to be verifying ET tube placement, but just a review. Oops, you want to, um, I use the A, B, C, D, E method. A for airways, uh, B for bones, C for cardiac silhouette, uh, D for diaphragms, E for everything else, which is lung fields and so forth and so on. So we'll go over this one uh, real quick. So A for airway, you can see the trachea coming down on either side. This one here is easy to pick out the carina. The carina is right there. Uh, some films, it's a little more difficult, and I'll show you a way to, to figure out the level of the carina in that case. So that covers A. Uh, B, we're going to go look at the bones, clavicles, ribs, shoulders. Uh, look at the vertebrae. C for cardiac silhouette, and we can see the cardiac silhouette coming down here. It looks nice and normal. Um, you can see the lung markings through the cardiac silhouette. D for diaphragm. This diaphragm sits on top of the liver, and this diaphragm over here sits on top of the stomach. This is the um, a gas bubble uh, in the stomach. And then E for everything else. You can look at the lung fields. You can see the vasculature it goes all the way out to the periphery. Um, this might be a little overexposed, kind of dark down here, but you can still make it out. So basically this is a, um, a normal chest x-ray here. This one is not so normal. And so we'll start, um, again we're looking for ET tube placement. So we can see that this patient has an intertracheal tube there. And so let's start just by looking at the airway. You can see the trachea. So the carina is a little more difficult to pick out. It looks like it's going to be right about there, but I'm going to show you a way to tell by counting um, um, basically ribs and your um, thoracic vertebrae. So the carina usually sits about uh, T5, T6, or T6, T7 in that range. And you can see here, this is the first rib coming down here and around. And here's the first rib on this side coming down. And this is the second rib here. You can see the second rib is attached at this point. That's your T2. So you can count down T3, T4, T5, T6. So your carina is going to be right in this area, uh, T5, T6, T6, T7, somewhere in there. And this is your ET e tube. Can't talk today. Coming right down here. So let me erase most of this now. So with this chest x-ray, it's pretty obvious you have a right main stem intubation and um, you're ventilating one lung here. The other lung is pretty much totally collapsed, which is allowing the heart, so you see no heart border over here where there should be, um, and the trachea is um, shifted over to the left uh, quite a bit. This is total wide out over here, total collapse of the lung, can't see the diaphragm, etc. And um, so obviously the endotracheal tube needs to be pulled back a little bit, and I would, would pull it back um, at least about here, and that should fix the issue. So the um, tip of the ET tube should be around five to six centimeters above the carina. Uh, if you can't see the carina, then the tip I showed you before, and I'll go over it again, uh, the carina is going to be somewhere around the level T5, T6, T6, T7. Another chest x-ray, and um, this one has a little bit more going on. Let's start with the airway. Um, you can see the trachea here, but that's pretty much all you can see. You can't see the carina anywhere in here. And you can see the first rib, although they have it kind of cut off, but looks like the second rib is coming right here. So that's going to be T2, looks like T3, T4, T5, and T6. And looks like the ET tube 
comes down to here. So it looks like the Anoteka tube is pretty well positioned. But you can see some other stuff going on here. You can see a line coming here. And that appears to be a right subclavian. And it comes down, looks like the tip is down right about here. So I'd say that's probably a little bit too far. If we go back here and count, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, T6. So your carina is going to be right in here in this area. And you want the endotracheal tube, I'm sorry, you want the um, central line to be about two so or two vertebral bodies below. So it looks like we're a little bit below that. We can't make out the vertebral bodies too well, but it looks like these are the vertebral bodies. So you can see this line is probably down in the right atrium and needs to be pulled back some. Um, I would um, pull it back right to about right here, which should be about the SVC junction. Um, Cavoatrial junction is probably about right there. So either of those two places are fine. And you can see a couple of tubes here coming. That's a chest tube. And over here you can see another chest tube. So this chest tubes are in pretty good position. Um, I would make sure that there's no um, holes out because this was looking a little bit short. All the eyelets have to be inside the chest. And this one here is looking a little better, but still um, just to make sure. So you can see lung markings all the way out. So I think the lung is pretty well expanded. Yeah, I don't see any issues going on there, but what I do see here um, is the cardiac silhouette kind of goes away. And you can't really see it very well here. You see a lot of fluffiness here. So this is something going on. And you can also see over here, this part of the cardiac silhouette might be being blocked a bit as well. This represents the lingula, lingula region of the left lung. And um, this over here is the right middle lobe when it's blocking the um, a silhouette sign and um, blocking um, visualization of that heart border. The diaphragms look good, mostly. Right here, you kind of blocked off. But So this is what he's got going on, obviously. He um, is intubated. It's in good position. The central line needs to be pulled back uh, some. Chest tubes are probably OK. And he has a process going on in both lungs. Um, could be a pneumonia. Clinical correlation, right? So another chest x-ray. Um, you can see the airway here on this one. If we come down, here's the trachea. Looks like the carina is right there. You can visualize this pretty well. That's the carina. And here is the endotracheal tube coming down there. So you can see it's in pretty good position. Uh, you also see another line coming here. You can see this, follow it down. And it comes right down like this, crosses the midline, which you want, and terminates uh, in the stomach. So he's got an NG tube going on there. Uh, border looks OK. And good vascular markings all the way out. So this chest tube is in appropriate position. And um, NG tube is in appropriate position. So it looks good. Again, if you could not see that carina, this one you can, which is nice. Uh, you can uh, count the uh, thoracic vertebrae down interspaces. And this is T1. You can see the first rib. Here's T2, T3, T4, T5. So it's about T6 level. And another chest x-ray. See, he has a little bit going on here. <clears throat> Let's see if we can figure it out. You can see the trachea coming down here. And on this side here, where it splits off into the bronchus, looks like this is going to be the carina right there. You can see the endotracheal tube coming down and terminating right there. So you can see this is in good position. It's 
Oops, sorry. A little malfunction there, uh, but you can see the carina. You can see it's in good position. You can see that the um, it's probably a good five, six, seven centimeters above the carina. Um, and we look for anything else going on. And collect lung markings, go all the way out. That's fine. Cardiac silhouette, diaphragms. Looks like we have a maybe an NG tube coming down here. Um, it's kind of cut off, so you can't really see. But in any case, we're just looking at the intertracheal tubes, and it's in good in good position right there. And another chest X-ray. And this one, you can. Here's the trachea coming down. Looks like carina maybe right about there kind of hard to tell i want to erase that line so let's uh, count um, thoracic interspaces you can see the first rib here this is second rib so here's t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 so it looks like the endotracheal tube is down right at t7 which is probably a little bit low for him because you can see on this side the lung is definitely not expanded. See how much higher this is as compared to the right hand side. This side looks uh, pretty good and you can see there's no cardiac silhouette here either so with this low volume and higher pressure in the one lung you can see that the heart, mediastinum, etc. is shifting over. So this endotracheal tube needs to be pulled back probably a good four centimeters. And then it should be fine. And that should be about it. Next chest x-ray. You can see here, looks like carina is right about here. You can see the trachea coming down and branching, I do believe. And if we count down, looks like this is first rib, second rib. So T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, and that should be T7. So this is um, right about T6, T7 interspace. And you can see the endotracheal tube coming down here. So it's down pretty well. Looks like it's about, oh, maybe three centimeters above. Uh, possibly four centimeters. It's hard just eyeing it, obviously. Uh, diaphragms are flattened out a little bit. Again, I have no clue on patient history or anything, but see if we spot anything else interesting. So you can see here, looks like um, either a pick or a right subclavian coming here. And coming down, looks like it terminates. A little hard to see, but looks like right about here. So that's uh, pretty close to SVC um, junction. You want it just below the carina, which it looks like it is. And I don't see any issues with the lungs. So I'd say um, appropriate position on both. And that concludes the, the short presentation on um, verifying ET2 placement. I just want to put in a uh, plug for a company I really, really like. Uh, Twin Oaks uh, Anesthesia, they put on some of the best uh, ultrasound classes that uh, you can go to. I've been to their course, I went to it a couple of years ago, and they're outstanding. They do a lot more than just anesthesia. They have um, nurse practitioners, physicians, etc. cetera, that, um, that teach as well as um, nurse anesthesiologists, and they go over, um, besides uh, peripheral nerve blocks, they'll also teach um, critical care ultrasound, point of care ultrasound. Uh, this particular course is coming up in Houston, October 19th and 20th. It's going to be a cadaver lab, uh, which is just outstanding. It's the best way to learn um, central line placement blocks, um, reading chest x-rays, 
it's uh, simply outstanding and I highly recommend it. Um, it's these peripheral nerve blocks are really taking the emergency room by storm. They just benefit patients so much. You can't learn these uh, from a better uh, instructors than what Twin Oaks have. So again, if you like these podcasts, uh, please um, go to my YouTube channel and like and subscribe and help me pass along the gospel. You all have a great day and great weekend.